Yo, 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 this is King Ernest coming to you guys live and direct for... Hello? Phone keep ringing. Hello? Yo, sound like um, Nam, nam, had that's all e. Yes, listen to me. Go follow me at King Erner one on Instagram. That's K-I-N-G-E-A-R-N-E-R -E -E and the number one. Follow the directions in my bio. $80 for the pounds of raw, honorable... Seamoss, along with that honorable Seamoss gold gel, the elderberry. I tell everybody this now about my gel. 72 ounces for only $50. I might have to update my bio because people probably aren't really paying attention. So, you know, you always got to humble yourself and make sure you understand that when you got what you got, it's going to sell itself. Now, I wanted to speak on giving honor. We know it's the month of Ramadan. We know a lot of individuals have left us in this world. We know that's a sign of the times, but no one knows the sign. This is why I take this to remain healthy, but during Ramadan, you have to pay attention to what you're doing, with your time, with your freedom, with your actions. You have to be a Muslim. Muslim is one striving to what? To be a be a believer. Then you have the Muksanun who's a good doer already. Then you have that Mukminun, the believer, who is somewhere right now probably not even thinking about our social media or any of these things. This book I got, The Virtues of Blacks and Abyssinians in Islam. Ain't that something? I'm going to read this book and I'm going to get back to the Israelites and everybody who wanted to know if they honored black people in Islam. This is a proof that it did. I got the soap too. I'll tell you, I keep your face nice and clear. Oh, I got that funk wear on also. Everybody go get that funk wear. Now listen to me. You got to understand that this brother Sput was a man of honor. When I first heard about Sput, I got in the federal system, so everybody was like, yo, it's a boy from a city, from your city by the name of Big Reek. Everywhere I went, I don't care where I was at. They're like, yeah, you know, he'd go around, he'd be body beating people, mugging them, and you know, the compound be his when he around. And I'm like, nah, you gotta be kidding me. This boy's really... Run up in people's cells, pull them out of their bed, but at the same time, he was making a lot of the pups, the ones that were from Philly, the Muslims, he was making them strong. So when you hear about him body beating and doing things of that nature, don't take it as that he was really pressing the individual. So we got to remove the negative part of it and give us some honor and a positive aspect because the man isn't here anymore. But we can smile today about the good things that he done. And Philadelphia, anybody that's from Philly, should be honored to say, Reek was in your car. You know it, especially you rats. Especially you sucker duckers. Especially you mutts who wanted to pay just to stay on the compound. And that's not to say that he ever took money for anything, but if you weren't from Philly and he heard about it, you probably was getting ran down on. I'm just keeping it a hundred with you. I don't care what car you was in, man. Certain dudes of that caliber. He was a person of that caliber. He wasn't a person that was playing when it came down to time. He knew he had to make sure he survived. He got to make sure he got family, friends, people that he loved. So, Reek, I'm going to keep it a hundred. He'll shake the whole jail. How the boy say it, I want to shake, shake, whatever the boy, smoke or whatever. Yeah, Reek shake the whole jail, but more than that, he was a he was a beautiful Muslim. Now, alhamdulillah, can we agree to understand that not every human is born to go in a direction of being perfect. No human is. So Reek had his faults like we all have our faults. I can't get into the fact of him coming home and not even probably a year 
and he's not here anymore because it's not my business. But what is my business is the fact that when you heard his name, it rung bells and it changed up attitudes and mindsets. I remember a dude, we was at a jail and Rick was on his way there and a dude heard he was coming there and he kind of like froze, he couldn't do nothing. So I had to confront him like, damn, what's going on? I noticed that when they were saying, man, man. He like, no, we just had a situation before with another jail. And bro, you scared of this man? I mean, there's not even no guns in here and you're scared? If it was guns in here, you should still have some honor and not being a scary cat. But at the end of the day, that was the impression that he, that's how he carried it. He would, he would body beat these guys to death. Okay, whatever you want, Rick, whatever. They be like, man, Rick, don't be punching on you. No. No man is punching on me. I'm a human. I respect individuals. I remember there was a bull in a federal joint. That's when I had got down to Ferriton, man. <clears throat> Two was big as hell. His name was Stay You. He was from Jersey. So, you know, we all in line. You know, you respect men, you respect the men, but it's not like a pen where they was being respectful. Like, they, some people make mistakes and being disrespectful by an accident. So I remember the biggest dude in the jail, it was like, I mean, this boy arms was from here to here. His name was Stay You. That boy, honestly, listen to me. Came to the chow hall, walked right in front of me, and parked in front of me, like I'm here. Like, damn. This nigga hands like 20 times bigger than mine. But I got coverage, I got honor. So you know what I done? I stepped right back in front of him. But when I done it, I done it with a jaw on like him to say, huh, we're gonna bang out. And I wouldn't tell this man, like, that ain't nothing. His man was like, I know. I turned around like, Quietly, very respectful. It could be something. To be like, no, I ain't even on that tip, man, man. Like, I need that mean man. Because we could have got right to it. I was going to stab him until arm, my arm was tired. But it wasn't no need for that because the respect was given right then and there. A lot of times you don't got to prove nothing by being negative or keeping things going on because that could have caused a big war between Philly and Jersey. Because Philly and Jersey kind of lived there. New York too, but Philly and Jersey was like, we're there, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, things happen. But like I said, man, I want to get some honor to the brother. I just want to say to his family and friends, may God continue to strengthen y'all in this, you know, in this time of what I would say, not only an epidemic is going on, but something like this happened to you in your life, a tragedy of losing a loved one. Just know he was a loved one that everybody honored, everybody respected. Um, like I said, man, he talked about this guy like he was nine feet, 5,000 pounds. Like he was really a giant. At the end of the day, he was a regular size individual, heart big as of an ocean. He was either good to you or he was either bad to you. Either way, you you know, you'd rather be on this good side, man. You know, a law does as he wills, and guess what? We pray to him and any brother in this world that is gunned down by violence in the streets, that they change their lives and they ask a law supreme with the Isla to lead them in the right path. We ask that for everybody. You know why? We once had to beg and pray and ask Allah, and we're praying that Allah has forgiven us for our sins. The month of Ramadan, we got to start adding that, what I could say, that love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger in the hearts of the people till they get the understanding that we never honor the cops on no level. But what we do do is we make sure we police ourselves. So I ask all my little younger brothers in the world, Ask all my younger ladies in the world, ask everybody worldwide that's a part of the streets to put a pause 
I mean, forever I would like. But put a pause on that month of Ramadan, on the negativity. Let's look out for that night of Kandala, the night of power. Let's look out for that. See if we can feel that tranquility in the area, in the air. Let's look out for that. Opposed to looking out the arm one another. Yeah, I know this person done this. Yeah, I know that person done that. But guess what? Law forgive those who forgive. Live and direct. Make sure y'all tune all the way in. Make sure y'all understand and y'all know too. Good night. Live and direct.